Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Weird at War. Today marks the tenth episode, which I'm pretty proud of. And I'm going to open a few of the new cartel packs as a celebration. Now my goal here is to get a jukebox for my stronghold. Or at least get something that I could sell for a jukebox. They run about a million credits. And I've had a lot of issues trying to pull the trigger on it. It's just a lot of credits for me. I don't grind dailies or anything. So I have a few million credits, but replacing them takes me a long time. So I really would rather not spend the credits. Even though I don't really use them for anything. But that's another story altogether. So let's open up a few packs. I'm going to open up the Constable's pack. Alright. Come on, you box. A cartel market certificate. That's pretty good, actually. Some body armor. Flag. That's cool. I can always use something for the stronghold walls. I don't know if any of these sell for anything, but... Two flags, actually, so that's good. And I can use that cartel market certificate for maybe a Jawa bender or something. Definitely look good on my loading dock. Alright, let's go for pack number two. Another cartel market certificate, nice. Some more armor. A lamp. Not a jukebox, but not too bad. Not a big fan of these assault cannons, the way they look. Let's take all those. Let's go for pack number three. Another certificate? Jeez. Shrubbery. <laughs> Most of these stuff I'll end up just stashing away to maybe I'll need someday. Still no jukebox. I don't know if any of this stuff is worth selling. Final pack. Come on, jukebox. Alright. Here we go. A vase. It's disappointing, but such is the RNG trophy. Oh, that's nice. So I did not get the jukebox, and I don't know if I got anything worth selling. Got a bunch of stuff, but no jukebox. Alright, well that about covers it for this session. And welcome to part two. In the background you'll see some of my trooper here doing a war zone. This one was particularly rough. We didn't have a healer and they had a couple. So it did not end well for us. So you get the pleasure of watching me play futilely and dying a couple times. So what else has been going on? I think uh, Conquest is something I haven't talked about before. This was a, the new feature in 2.10. I hate to say it, but it was largely a miss for me. I just don't play it much. It, it doesn't fit with my play style. Usually when I start a week, I have some set goals that I want to accomplish. Like I want to decorate something, I want to do some PvP, but not 35 matches worth of PvP. And with the point total of 35,000 to reach, 
I'd have to do at a thousand points to be 35 at 570 war zones. I like doing them, but I can only maybe do a dozen a week, maybe maybe 20, depending on how the week goes. But I'm not going to sit there and grind out war zones over and over just to reach my point goal. Same goes for all the other activities. I'll switch it up and do some flashpoints. Well, if there's a good story going on that I haven't seen yet, I'll do them. But I won't do something over and over just to reach my conquest goal. And I think part of that has to do with the rewards. But the reward system is just so static. You get the same thing every week, no matter which type of conquest you're running. If there were some semi-unique rewards, or something that changed, that there was something I, I wanted, maybe I'd be more likely to try to reach that goal. But for the same Jawa junk and a credit certificate, it just doesn't make sense for me to do. Now the guild rewards are a little bit better. You get the artifact quality Jawa junk. They can help you do dark projects so we can get you some neat housing decorations. So they're the only thing I'm tempted to do. Plus, I'll be honest, I do feel bad that I don't participate more with the guild in trying to hit the top 10 of a planet. A lot of people put a lot of effort into it, and I'll sometimes only contribute a few thousand and not reach my goal. So that makes me kind of glad there's no sort of scaling system, because if there were, having more people becomes a liability, especially if they don't pull their weight like me. So what would make it better? I think more variety in rewards would help, and maybe lower the points total. I know some people have no problem with the points, but with my playstyle of just not a lot of time, and only when they do a certain thing that may not line up with a week, it just doesn't work well. That's it. Talk to you guys next time.